Here are the Pittsburghese Warriors. And we start out with Ben Glasser, number 21. And he's a senior. He's the highest rated player on the team. Here's his stats. As you can see, he's very confident. And he's got a lot of potential. And he also weighs a lot, 300 pounds. Next, we've got Caleb Johannes. And you can see his hair there. And he's seven foot tall to try to, you know, make up the difference because if I had all the actual heights, everyone would be hip squeaks. But so he has to be a whole lot taller. He's a junior. And he's the center on the team. Those are his stats. Then we've got Yorio! And Hall Yorio is the third best player on the team. He's number three. He's good at shooting threes. He's from New Jersey. And he's also very confident, but he doesn't have much potential. Next, we're going over to Jared Glasser, number 23. And you, if you're wondering where I got these numbers from, I actually took out the senior year of our senior year yearbook and I I used pictures to put together what everyone's actual numbers are. These may not be the numbers that you like, but those are the numbers that were in the pictures. So I'm just going off that evidence. Anyway, Jerry Glasser's the shooting guard. He is a good three-point shooter. He's a sophomore. Those are his stats. And now we move on over to Kevin Rump. And Rump, sophomore, small forward. Not as good as the other guys, but still a quality starter. And then we get to the bench. And, <laughs> oh boy, Josh Curtis. Yep, that's Josh Curtis. Um, hometown, Japan. Uh, the only choices were China or Japan, so I picked Japan. So he's from Asia, as you can see there. And his rating is much lower than anyone who's a starter. He's a power forward. He's a freshman. Those are his stats. Next, we've got Anthony Guida. And Guida, well, he's rated lower. He actually wore number one, believe it or not. He's a freshman. And not so good. Finally, what would it be without Matt Ricketts? Matt Ricketts, uh, worst player on the team by far, number 24, and he has the lowest rating of anyone. His potential is an F, meaning he has no shot at making the NBA. So there you are, there's the team, and now I'm going to actually go and play a game with this team, so you can see them in action. First... Pittsburgh East, and we'll have them go up against Hey, why not? Pitt. Pittsburgh East versus Pitt. And here it is um, at the Fellowship Hall. That's where we'll be playing the Fellowship Hall. And let's 
get going. So fancy. I don't think we ever had anything that fancy. It's time for College Hoops 2K. Here we go. The Hampton away team versus the, the home young. team. This one promises yeah. to be a real battle. You can see the everybody. A rather, Bill Raffery. You know, this is Vern Munford. Tracy Wilson is with us too. Give us your take, Bill. With this game features a great right, matchup you know, at the point guard position. Number three is clearly up there with the greatest point guard in the nation. He is a potent finisher inside. When from. he sniffs the hoop, look out. Ceiling, which is the way it was before. Also hold his own at the point. He's a magician with the basketball. Jared goes up for a dunk. He can really get creative with the ball in his hands. Rump can't dunk. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. Here's Ricketts. Oh, we made it. I can't believe it. And there's, oh, there's the mascot. See the mascot right over there? Yep, we got the warrior mascot. That might be Mr. J in there. Who knows? Yeah, you can see this arena is kind of behind me. But, I mean, it's really small. David trying to play some deep. Paul. Paul. What else is he going to do? Bounces it to the high Paul post. For you. Right. Patterson hands it off. Intercepted. Get it up there. Get it up there. And they lead by two. He's gonna go up! He makes it! They increase their lead to four. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Watson. It's stolen. What do you have? Go for the dunk, Caleb. Playing against a team that has the ability to create so many second chance opportunities, he said it is extremely important that his players do not get lazy boxing out the way. Giving up extra possessions to a team like this will kill us. Thank you, Tracy. Is it about time to bring in the sub? Yeah. All right, let's see what Matt Ricketts can do. are going to make some substitutions. Patterson inbounds the ball. Gets the second to fall as well. The line. Oh, 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 what a play to lead off. Goes up, misses from point blank range. Here is the break. It's deflected. That's 
something out there. He's gonna do that. Two seed. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Losing some momentum now. We just gave up our first points. Coach Paul is over there. Uh, that's not Coach Paul. Coach Paul gets is it. on the other right side. Wing. And yes, he, he, I even spelled his name. There he is. There's Coach one. Paul up there. And that's his first point. Number 13 point. makes his first appearance. Um, it takes yeah, he's over there to get on the, the sideline with a large bench of three players. And he's coaching away. Inbounds the ball. Like this is the NBA final. Dishes, right side, number 13. By the way, the student section it. Right wing. Um, here at the fellowship hall, his name uh, Don Curtis Study Hall. This is right. Don Curtis 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 Study Hall is the name of the student section. And uh, Midnight Madness for Pittsburgh East is not right called there. Midnight Madness, rather it's called the Event. The team was really ready for him. Oh boy. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. These backups came step, in. And then starting to struggle. They cut the lead to eight. Paul pop one here. Right wing. Going outside the record. Passes it to the right now side. inside the Josh Curtis. Dude. So there's something out there he didn't like. He called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone's working together out there. Patterson inbounds the ball. Oh, if you notice the long sleeve in some of the players, those are actually from pictures that I have found where certain players, like, for example, uh, who's this one here? Anthony Guida. Uh, he's got the long sleeve because he actually did wear a long sleeve in a picture in the yearbook. So that is actually um, layup. One minute left in the first half. Kind of the home team out. will take his first time out. He can't do it with Rick and South Bend. He can't do it. Well, let's get back to the action. There's our mascot. We got cheerleaders. Yes, we got cheerleaders. This group has a lot uh, of team chemistry. Probably Bethany Clifford and uh, Jessica Hinkle maybe out there. Sweet out. Of course, rain. No, the offensive rebound. Now, the three. Now, offensive rebound. Did he come to him by accident? Yeah, maybe he went where to be. Number 21. Oh, Double the lovely girl at the top. And he will go to the line. Getting faster. Getting fouled. Mm -hmm. And go to the line. Knocks down the first one. Johnson to make his first stand off the bench. So, and Glasser to make this an eight-point lead. He gets the ball. Johnson inbounds the ball. Seven seconds to go to That's leads him with the pass. Best defense. I'll go to that. Johnson leads it to the wing. Patterson gets the ball. They just got. They're now behind by five. Pointer. Number three brings it up the floor. Who should take it? Do you want Paul to take it? Should Jared take it? How about Ben? You know, I am trusting my life with Paul Ewing. And here we go. From deep, Paul Ewing. Oh, what a surprise. We'll head into the break. Score, 16 to 11. Hit Panthers. Very Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. If we don't see some improvement soon, this could be even further out of reach. Start. They need to make some adjustments. So, you know, 
everyone's got some points up there. Look at those points. Six Let's see who we have as our player of the half. Bill? Player of the half. Number 21 has been licked up big floor for her. Must feel like he's playing the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through. And he looks absolutely unstoppable. Solid performance. Yeah, I know. He's well, you're really in the half. Exciting. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is the dungeon here. Going down to the dungeon to get some uh, halftime adjustment. And I'm going to. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get So now coming out of the dungeon, here come the Warriors. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Well, at halftime, I talked with the head coach. He oh, told me that he thinks it is going to take a different approach this oh, half Caleb for them to hold on to this lead. Blank. Coach told Rain. me that he wasn't going to play this next half by the book, and that he'll try things that he to see what he means. Uh, so, you know, yeah. Okay, Tracy. We'll see if he got the message across. The student section sounds pretty exciting. <laughs> Caleb got dumped really get on, that and he goes, Clyde, oh my, oh uh, my, just call him Tim Dunk On, and he makes it, and it's only a four point game, number 32, crazy. inbounds the ball, he lose the pit, passes, left wing, number 32, takes three, it would be like losing to the chef. Getting 66% for the game. WPSD. Just over four minutes left in the second half. The visitors all time. There's some of our beautiful cheerleaders out there. Cassie Elson, Leah Handy. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. I don't trust any of these defensive players. Getting set to inbound the ball. Johnson will head to the bench. Here we go. This is it. More minutes to go. Six point lead. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Patterson gets whistled for a foul. By Jahan. Jahan gets the foul and hits the line. Hit. 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 That's a good ball. So unrealistic. Hit actually made it three. Never see that in real life. He gets the second to fall as well. I've never Johnson seen is hit, checking hit into the game. Three throws in a row before. All right, got to take back the number. Number three now. dumps it off. Ooh, ben. Son makes some moves. Catches it. Right wing. I think they have that five second closely guarded. Penalty. Number 23 okay. bounces it to the left. Nice shot. Down. Down. By number 32. With the bounce. I'd like to see that. Here with the assist on the pass. Johnson inbounds the ball. The away team is Thank really strong. Sir. The visitors. Lasser. The team Gotta get that. Johnson will come off the floor. 
Oh, that would have been a fantastic pick. Okay, Great effort. Trump. To the elbow. Number 13 hands it off. No good. He'll take the This is big. One penny for the Nigeria project. If you can make it. Good on number two. Johnson there will you. check into the game. Johnson inbounds the ball. Just over three minutes left in the second half. putting in backups to pull around because I, I gotta win. If I lost the pit, my reputation would be destroyed. Number 50. Passes to the left. Patterson has it. Right wing. With the D just standing oh, around, it's just too easy. Game. You know he's dropping that one in. Here comes. Jared. Jared. Number three. We don't know what to do. Gets it. On the elbow. Good. Number Caleb. 32. Goes in. No. no. Grabs the rebound inside. Oh, no. It's two on one. Look to that. Oh, shit. Oh, the ball. Get it. Oh, it is a three point game. Number 32. Inbounds the ball. The sixth man not helping out very much. Number three. Dishes to the free throw line. Swings it to the left wing. To Jared Kaufman. Number 32. Here's Caleb. Takes it up. Caleb to the control. Gets it and the foul. And one. And he hit the shot. Pretty burn. All right. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Johannes up the line. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Three for it's a six-point game with two and nine to play. Two oh nine left in the game. Take a timeout. They're working. down by six. <laughs> two oh seven left it, in the game. It seems like they don't know what they're doing. Well, you shouldn't be surprised. Number forty-two inbounds the ball. Pity. He's the top scorer. So four point game. Oh, yo, yo. With the ball. Let's see what he can do with that. You see those uh, volleyball lines on the floor? Yeah. Although, uh, there wasn't this logo. We didn't have a big logo. It just said PE and then Warriors down here. Caleb Johannes misses from point blank range. Need to get a shot quickly. Next 
free, but it's recovered by Patterson. Fouls him! This still up in the air. Something else. Number 11 inbounds oh. the ball. What are we going to do now? Passes back. Out left. Foul! Foul hard. We'll take a 50 This game's going to come down with three throws. You can see Matt Ricketts, he's actually praying over there on the bench. He's so nervous. The pressure to get to him again. a little bit. Close game there we go. He's as cool as could be. One on one left in the game. Oh, it's one of one. I love to see that. Okay, and the EC pops here. We didn't have a logo like that. Pretty sure of it. Would have been nice if we had some logos. But we did have the volleyball uh, thing out there, so that's pretty accurate. And unfortunately, you can't hang hoops from the ceiling in this game. Or where are They're going to have to hurry. Loose. And that and is so Jerry. That is so Jerry. Well, the game just slows down from to the point he sees things that others oh, don't. The last play was cashed in by Patterson. Got to be. There's a whistle. Well, in the bonus here, so that'll be a one and one at the line. Number three. We'll leave the floor. Substitution. Paul Yorio now at the line. Number 13. Didn't sit for long and he's coming back into the ball game. Got to be feeling good with the three point All kinds of changes to get that one. Johnson inbounds the ball. And that is so fit. And then turn it over. Number 13. He's back in the game after a short rest. We'll head to the bench. Ben's going to come up here with a chance to ice the game. Ben once knocked down 93 out of 100 free throws for charity. Here we go. Number 13. Just leave it out on the floor. Didn't get much of a rush. Next one would steal. Those are so Johnson inbounds the ball. Number 50. Oh! That's, that's out of bounds. That's what that's doing. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. But they need him back on the floor. I can appreciate their willingness to keep fouling Bird, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Number 13 will come off the floor. And we get to the So, survive in advance. That's what Pittsburgh Youth is going to do here. Baggies! Oh, that's the ball game. It's 
Veggies. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Thank Glasser, the player of the game. He had 10 points, one rebound, one steal. It's a single double. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with all the teachers with today's version and now of the my Pontiac man, Game Greg Gumbel. Hi and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel and we're going to bring you our Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Getting into an offensive rhythm is a huge advantage for a team and that played a factor in this game. The home team exploded on a long scoring run, all triggered by this shot. Once this shot went down, they caught fire and made the game look easy. Thank you, Greg. And that was the play this of the game for you guys. This is Thurman Tracy Oops. Wolfson and Bill Rafter. There was. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. So, I hope you enjoyed your look into the Pittsburghies Warriors and this masterful game I put on for you. Game stats, you might want to look at those. Uh, that, that doesn't help. There we go, box score. Caleb and Ben led with 10. Paul Yorio with 6. Jair with 4. John Curtis and Matt Ricketts with 2 each. So there you have it. 